Hey guys, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be doing the requested video, or I guess the video I asked you guys if you wanted to see, about my clippers and doing a kind of comparison video on those. So the two clippers I have are the Wall Arco SE clippers, and these are the cordless ones, so they're just like this. And then I just recently got the Wall KM10 um, brushless clippers, and so these are the two ones that I have. I can't figure out how to put the um, blade back onto this one, and the manual is at the barn. So yeah, there's no clipper on this one right now. But I wanted to do um, a little comparison and talk to you guys about them and tell you what I think and all that jazz. So basically these are the first ones I got two years ago and they have the same model of these ones but with the cord and so it was cheaper this way and I thought it would be handier just to get the cordless because it's so much easier to not have to get an extension cord and then weave it around your horse and whatnot. So I just thought that this was really really easy. The one thing I really like about it is that it came with a whole case of stuff. So it came with this little zip up carrying case which this then fits into nicely. And then inside it also came with, I guess this is the brush part attachments, but there's like a couple different ones. I don't really know what they do, I'm guessing it's just like for length of hair, etc. And then it has a little blade guard thing that just goes on over top like that so that they don't get like damaged and whatever. I'll show you that. There is that. And then it also came with its own little brush and bottle of the lube clipper oil stuff. What I like about these ones is the fact that the blade's so easy to take off. You just literally push it and it comes off. And that way it's nice that you can just see the full inside and brush out all the stuff on the inside. Um, these ones I have had to get sharpened a couple times um, and then that's the reason why I bought the second blade for it just so that I could switch them out really easily when one gets dull. Um, also the battery is super easy too. You just pull it out. There's came with two of them as well and the little charging station. And so it just goes in like that and then you're ready to go, which is super, super nice. Um, overall, I've really liked these. I did a full body clip and then as they were starting to dull out, I just got through the legs and the um, face and stuff. I think that I may need to get them serviced or something just because um, I have got the extra blade and... Um, they're them both sharpened and them both oiled and he, Ralph was perfectly clean and it still had a little bit of difficulty cutting through the hair. Um, I don't know if that's normal when you've had clippers for two years, um, but yeah, I might see about getting them fixed or something if that's possible. I don't know, I'll look into it. I really like them too because they're small and handy and you can get into those tight places like their armpits or like the um, tendon area or their face like it definitely goes into all those areas really really nicely um, I'll just turn it on so you guys can hear it unless the battery is dead yay wow I really didn't think that through <sighs> okay well the other battery is at the barn um, but you've you've heard it in my other videos have you not <laughs> hey Yeah, so, <laughs> awesome. Um, so that sounds like that. Um, overall, I really like the fact that it has this little bag that it comes in and I can like throw all the stuff in and all the brushes and everything and zip it up and take it with me on the go if I need to touch up anything. Um, yeah, overall, I really, really like those. Um, also, they run for... Um, I, when I got them, they were $159.99, and I've seen them now for $139.99 and $129. So, they're going down a bit in price. They're still really good clippers, and I would definitely recommend them. The second clippers that I just got are these bad boys right here. They're so freaking cool. Honestly, like, okay. So, first of all, it's pink, which is really cute. The outside is kind of like... I wanted to describe it as like a silicone-y, but it's not. It's just a very like grippy, like smooth but grippy. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a really nice like plastic. Yeah, it's just so cool. I feel like comparing both of them, these ones are obviously a lot lighter. Um, the one downside is that it does 
have the cord um and i have to get an extension cord to like do certain things on him it's not the end of the world and ralph honestly is a horse that doesn't care at all about that stuff um but yeah i would just like it would be nice if it was um cordless and then i could change out the batteries when the batteries start dying but yeah these guys also came with the oil and the brush as well which i needed more of so that was really really helpful the one thing about these ones is there's no really adjustability in the blade length unless i wanted to buy new blades um but these ones are the 1.8 millimeter and so they're just like these black blades that look like this and they're pretty cool and then they snap in somehow i literally think you have to like lift up the one part and put it in but i'm gonna need scissors or something that is strong to do that i put them on re really easily the first time but I'm, i don't like remember how <laughs> of course yeah so basically these ones only have the one length i do like the length i think they're really good for the legs and his face and stuff i haven't done his full body yet because it's still summer and he doesn't have that long of a coat right now um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be full clipping him with these in the winter time or I guess in the fall when it starts getting, when he starts needing the coat again. Um, the thing about these ones that I like, um, is that there's the little switch thing at the back which lengthens, like, okay, so the, this is short when this metal thing's way up there near the blades and then when I change it, it drops. So, like, it's really, really handy with this one because if I'm just like, oh, I'm doing a bit longer, I want to do this length. If I want to do really, really short, I'll do this length. Um, like, for example, if I'm cleaning up around a cut, I'll use the really, really short one to make it, like, super short and so I can clean the full area. If I want to do more of a medium one for just everywhere, and then I'll use the longer ones to kind of, like, transition through parts. Like, I don't always want his, like, neck face area um done or like if i don't want like a sharp line of clip i'll just like even it out kind of with one of the medium ones just so that it flows really nicely so that's a bonus i really really like that part about those ones and this isn't the end of the world i can get more clipper blades if i want to but for now i'm okay with this size or this length of blade um these ones run for 199.99 so it's about 50 60 bucks more than the cordless ones but i really really like these and they're so powerful and so quiet like just listen to this they're two speed but like this is the loudest this is the fastest and it cuts through like everything like you literally just go and like zoom and it's done and it's awesome like to have this do the same exact thing as the huge like massive oster ones that are like ah, and it sounds like literally you're running a chainsaw those ones i feel work as good as these ones as of right now as of my first trial these ones do just as good as a job as the other ones and the other ones are like 500 dollars. so i would recommend these ones for sure um it doesn't sound any louder with the actual blade on it's literally this loud Yeah, so like, they're similar, that one is definitely louder and heavier, this one's quieter and lighter weight, and yeah, so I don't know, I feel like if you're looking for a really good cordless clipper, I would definitely go with the Arco ones, they're so nice, they're like the goldy, pretty color, cordless, they come with two batteries, like, it's just really good if that's the type of thing you need, if you need something that's gonna last you for a longer clip a little bit more powerful a little bit more work to do and you don't mind having cord i would definitely definitely recommend these ones they're so smooth and they clip so well and i feel like they're gonna last me a long time i'm praying um but yeah if you guys have any other questions regarding these two clippers definitely definitely leave some comments below tell me what ones you think you would rather get or if you have them tell us what your favorite thing about them is in the comments um yeah i really like them both i don't know i feel like this is my new favorite but this is like my trusty go-to cordless ones so yeah i don't know i really like them both but yeah like i said just let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and i'll do my best to answer them and yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!